Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every one of y'all had a spectacular Christmas and you were able to spend it with family, friends, loved ones, share some great food, and hopefully the big guy brought you exactly what you wanted for this upcoming fishing season. Uh, I know I had a blessed one being able to spend it with my family, keeping old traditions alive. It's been a while, but uh, before we go any further, I want to let y'all know that today's video is sponsored by Catch Co. We're going to be using brands that can be found at the Shop Carl's website, produced by Catch Co. We've got some salt native stuff. That is the Skelly Swim. Y'all have been seeing me crush it out there with that one. And then this fella over here, the 10,000 Fish Shimmer Swimmer. These guys have been holding their own out there on the salt water, even though it is a freshwater lure. It can definitely crush it out there amongst the reds and the speckled trout. Hopefully we're going to be able to catch both of those fish in the marsh. Uh, we're going to work some shell. Hopefully the sun is going to warm that up and by about late morning time it will be warm enough to actually do some damage against those fish and if we don't find them there maybe They'll be in the back lake crushing some of the mullet. There's definitely a lot of that out there right now. So hang tight and uh, let's get started. high tide we'd be able to go through this back little waterway because it's a somewhat ditch and it's deep enough for kayaks to get through there so if it's deep enough for that it should be deep enough for us with the push pole there's enough water i'm gonna try to get us through the bayou th through that ditch I wasn't even, I literally looked at my watch. That's crazy. First fish in the boat. Oh, shoot, man. He was barely hooked. Thanks for the quick release. The shimmer swimmer. With no dang, no dang pro cure in there. That was honestly just purely luck. Come here, bud. Stop flopping. Stop flopping. Stop. Stop. He's a healthy dink though. You can tell that this guy when he grows up is gonna be strong and big. Yeah, look at them. Perfect size. Fat little dink. Yeah. Little dink says Got him, son. Okay, we're gonna spot lock it here. This guy feels a little bit bigger. Oh man. Is that a mullet? No, it's a stupid sand trout. Oh my gosh. I was like, why is this thing fighting so hard? And that's why. I'm sorry, buddy. I know that's got to hurt straight through the spine, man. Break your back, son. That was so crazy. Like, I, if it was a spec, I was like, we're seriously on a school right now. We got lucky. Oh well. Worth the. Worth got another one it's worth a few more that's a speckle trout motor boating water skiing son we're gonna have fun in the nursery and build our confidence right here i'm gonna need you to stop doing that before you ruin my lure so i'm gonna take it as the uh what you call it the sand trout chased after whoa buddy he chased after the lure and just I don't know. Dude's got some jacked up vision. I'm letting it go down too, son. Okay. And that's why we snagged him. Couldn't figure out if he wanted to go after it fully or not. Fishing a channel that's about four foot deep. And if we have to weed through these little guys to get to the big ones, 
then that's probably what we'll do. We'll give it a good 10 more minutes before we move on. They're hitting it on the fault too as it goes down there towards the bottom. That seems like a good one. Yeah. He's definitely fighting a little more. It doesn't even feel like a head shaker. Oh yeah, this is a good one. If it's a trout, it's a good one. Is it even moving? Oh god, yeah. Yep. That's oh, that's a red. He's a little red. I thought I thought he didn't feel like a trout. What's up, buddy? There you go, buddy. Well, if you would give it a rest, I would get you out of here, and we would get you back in the water. There we go, everyone. Nice little bloody guy. Got him a nice piercing. Oh dang, well, that was loud as hell. Like here in the Galveston area, swears by Haney, so they must be produced here, local, because everybody wants a Haney. Haney, killing the Galveston coast. Christian has got one. <laughs> That's what I thought you caught. Somebody's boat cover. Okay, I did. Here. Grab that. Jesus. It's somebody's jacket. Seriously. All right, let's keep going. There's I'm going to crab in it. He Wait, fell really? Yeah. <laughs> so like, don't look, there's another crab right on the sleeve. Where? Right there, crawling down the sleeve. Oh, yeah, yeah, small little ones. All right, here we go. Alrighty, there's my public service to the nature, the wild, the nature. I, I meant to say like mother nature or to the wild, but I said both of them, the nature. Quick update, ladies and gentlemen. Did a battery swap, both of us did. And I do believe we got some trout right here in this little deep pool that's formed where both of these bayous meet each other up. It's a deep pool. We do have a sheep's head right over there. I'll probably go after that guy. We'll put something on. I just don't know if these budget setups are capable of casting something that is so tiny. I'm going to find out. Oh, we just spooked something right here. I did. There we go. Ooh, good trout. Right beside the sun. Measure it to see if it's a keeper. Yeah, probably 15. 14 and a half. 14 and a half. With the open mouth, too. Almost All right, buddy. Let's get you back in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get used to this, but the soybean reel definitely is getting it done with <laughs> a very finesse for light lure. <laughs> oh, wow. Christian's crushing it. It's a red? No, it's a trout. Oh, oh, it's a flounder. Wow. It's a nice flounder, too. Come here, buddy. Oh, man. Dang. That's a... Sexy slam? <laughs> that's a slam for you already, my God. A nursery slam. That's crazy. I didn't expect to catch a flounder out here. I didn't either. Zero control. And it's just basically because I'm used to real flimsy rods, and they bend during my cast. Nice. A good measure him. Uh, he's 12 and a half. 12 and a half? Yep. And that does less. Right. Think he's just comfy there? <laughs> he's like. <laughs> he went for the slow descent. <laughs> got him. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Poor fella. <laughs> he went. I just jer jerked him out of the water. <laughs> That's the reverse slingshot. <laughs> All those guys lining up down there like, come on. He did, he was a speck. Mm -hmm. Trout, what is it? Another flounder? Oh, oh. sheep's head. I cannot believe you caught a sheep's head. That's a keeper. It, That's it, that's it right there, no more. Oh my god, that's a that's nice a sheep's head. Jeez, man. Oh my lord, 
keeper. That's the first keeper. It's the ultra Texas slam today with Dude. the jacket of every species in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about super multi species. I, and I had no procure on that dang thing. That lure has to look so darn juicy down there for It does have some. It some just flashes. I mean, that's what I switched to this one for. You should put on the clear one if we have any left. To catch that guy. Wow. Dude. Was yeah. oh, he big? Yeah, oh my god, this dude's fish. got some freaking dentures on him. <laughs> Jesus, look at those things. Yeah. It looks like real freaking teeth. That's what Elijah said when he caught his first sheep's head. He's like, he's got butt teeth, man. <laughs> <laughs> he got buck teeth. <laughs> Dude, he really does though have like some buck teeth. I don't is it the tip of the tail? He's sick he's fifteen and three quarters. Alright buddy. You go on now. I'm getting tagged by little guys. Of course, I'm using the little bait, which I'm going to stop using now because you already caught the sheep's head. Little did I know that the shimmer swimmer would have did that for us. I would have just, I would have stuck with the shimmer swimmer. I think this clear one has a certain look to it. I don't know. Well, I mean, I've caught two of them off the blue, so we'll just keep seeing. Oh, that, no, those are mullet. Tons of mullet. Oh, sheep's head. No, it's just one. Here he comes. Here he comes. Big old fella. <laughs> yeah. He's like, dang, that's, I already know what that is. What if that was the same one that we caught? Oh god, I got him. No, not yet. Um What is it? Little mud chicken, redfish. I got him, son. <laughs> Boy, he he provided a lot of dead weight though. I was like, "Wow." That's so funny. He just laid on his side. All right, there we go. Beautiful redfish. Look at all those spots. If I had a Sharpie, I'm telling y'all what. All right, not a bad time for our first trip back out there on the water right after Christmas. And uh, we tear into them really quick with the mega ultra super Texas slam. At least Christian did catching the multi-species today. If you're interested in the lures that we used, uh, you can find them on the link that's down in my video description below. It's going to take you to Shop Carl's and from there you'll be able to see all the Catch Co brands such as that 10,000 Fish Shimmer Swimmer plus the Shimmer Shad that we used. And uh, if you click on them and then become a member, you're going to be eligible to save up to 30% on your lures and tackle. If you don't care to see those lures, just go there anyways, and uh, you'll be able to see everything else that they have and uh, be able to save big bucks as well on tackle that you're probably already using in your tackle box. So I thank you for tagging along on our adventure. I cannot wait to get back out there again. Probably not tomorrow because the high winds are gonna come in and just do their thing. So until next time, tight lines, y'all.